In today's video, we take a look at the Granville 16 litre courier bag from Arcteryx. A clean and sleek messenger bag made of some really burly materials, perfect for cycling and or everyday commuting. I'm Ed from Rush Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please consider subscribing and also hitting the bell. Let's dive right in and check out the Granville 16 litre courier bag from Arcteryx. Arcteryx is a company that started off in Canada and they're known for making some of the world's best outerwear and performance apparel and they've innovated some really impressive materials technology as well. Typically on the channel we make thorough product walkthroughs but if you'd like to see us cover performance apparel please let us know in the comments below and also let us know what kind of gear you'd like to see us cover next. But when it comes to Arcteryx we've done a number of videos on their bags already so if you'd like to check some of those out head over to our channel and click the Arcteryx playlist or just click the the link above right now. And if you want to check out some of the product specs of this bag while we go through it in the video, there is a link in the description below as well as a QR code on the screen right now for you to scan with your phone camera. Okay, so let's talk about the materials of the Granville 16 litre courier bag. We can't forget the materials when it comes to Arcteryx. They're basically wizards when it comes to materials technology. This bag features Arcteryx's AC squared, which is Arcteryx's advanced composite construction technology. It's basically the culmination of all of Arcteryx is applied knowledge in materials development. It features a tough, airtight, waterproof and lightweight laminated 420 denier fabric. This fabric has a TPU coating on the underside of the fabric and then it also has a kiss coat urethane coating on the front for abrasion resistance and weather resistance. With Arcteryx they're really serious about their materials technology so if you really want to find out more all the nuances and all the specs check out the link in the description below for more details. In terms of hardware we've got an ITW buckle for the shoulder strap and then the rest of the hardware is actually Arcteryx Arcteryx's in-house hardware. As for branding here, it's reasonably minimal. Here we have the Arcteryx logo, which is just a picture of the Archaeopteryx. We also have that same image here on the buckles here, just slightly debossed onto those buckles. On the front face, there are no external compartments or anything like that. It's a very clean shape, lots of clean lines as well. Turning to the back of the bag, here is where we have our harness system. Taking a look at the back panel here, we have this one piece of molded foam, which has these creases on these sides here. This just allows the molded foam to wrap around the body a bit more nicely, especially when you're carrying it around your back. If you're cycling or commuting in that way, these sides will actually kind of curve and contour around your back making it a much more comfortable fit. As for the carry strap we have that same padding on the back panel on the shoulder strap it's just slightly thinner on the shoulder strap but it's a nice and wide shoulder strap and then on both sides we have these ladder locks that allow you to adjust the looseness or the tightness of the shoulder strap and then here we have a little bit of elastic webbing that can just assist with keeping that strap nice and tidy or that strap slack you can tuck away underneath and it's just a nice and tidy strap there. You can do the same on the other side, just tuck that away and it's nice and clean. Here we have a buckle that's meant to connect to our stabilization strap. This is another ITW buckle and this stabilization strap is perfect if you want more stability in your carry. When you're cycling or commuting, you want the bag to be more static. You don't want it swinging around on your back as you move. Using the stabilization strap will really make it a nice and secure fit. There's magnetic hardware here that will hook into a little loop on the bag. But if you prefer to wear the stabilization strap on the other way, then you can simply hook this strap off and then hook it into this loop here on the other side and you can go the other direction. As for the stabilization strap, we have some strap management as well, nice elastic webbing just to keep that strap nice and clean. And then at the top here, we have a nice padded haul handle for when you wanna just carry the bag via briefcase mode. Okay, so getting into the bag, we have a typical messenger bag flap top closure here and that's secured down by these push-pull buckles. This is Arcteryx's own in-house hardware here and you simply need to push up and it releases the buckle. Push up and it releases the buckle. Hopefully you can see there's this little hook here that goes into that little groove of the clip. You pull down and then it clicks. Pull down and then it clicks and then to release it you simply 
push up. Here we have some elastic webbing just to manage that strap slack. So again, it's nice and clean. And then opening up that flap top, we have one zippered compartment here. You can see this zippered compartment has a nice water resistant coating on it. This is Arc'teryx's watertight zipper. It's a really durable and water resistant zipper, nice and smooth, really, really easy to use. Inside here, I've got a number of small bits and pieces that I want relative quick access to. So I've got an Oz Air face mask. I've got an orbit key, which is attached to the key leash inside this compartment, so you won't lose your keys. I've got some hand sanitizer. I've got my Belroy note sleeve wallet, and then some wireless Bluetooth earphones from B&O. A great little compartment just to store those little bits and pieces. Getting onto the next compartment, we have YKK zippers. And then opening this compartment is our main cavity. So hopefully you can see everything inside that I've got stocked in there. It's a big stash base for all sorts of gear. And then there's a little bit of organization on the back panel. So just taking some gear out, I've got a Patagonia torrent shell jacket just in case it rains. I've got a Patagonia down jacket for when it gets a bit chilly. I've got an Orbit Key nest to store all of my tech. And then just to give you a sense of the size, here is a Peak Design small packing cube. If you're going cycling, you can store all your active gear inside there. And then just on the side here, I have a Mia 16 ounce wide mouth water bottle. Mia makes some really clean, minimal and high quality drink wares. Just like Arc'teryx, they make clean, minimal, high quality carry gear. Mia makes a number of different water bottle sizes, water bottle styles, and they have some really strong social and environmental values as well. They're a certified B Corp, they're climate neutral certified, and they're also partnered with 1% for the planet. A really good company, very social, conscious and they make a number of premium high quality drinkwares. Much like everything else in the video, there is a link in the description below. Getting onto the other things that are inside this bag, I have just a set of sunglasses and then I also have my Roost laptop stand. Turning to the back here, we have two zippered compartments that just allow you to store small bits of gear inside this main compartment. So in one of the zippers, I just have a Nomad Kevlar USB-C to USB-C charging cable, really heavy duty cable. And then in the other smaller zippered mesh compartment, I have an Everyman Grafton pen. And I also have an Olight brass baton torch. Now just at the back here, we have our laptop compartment, which is suspended from the ground and is also padded. And it's locked down by this little toggle here. So it's an elastic toggle that just wraps around this small button here. You simply take that off and then you have access to the laptop sleeve. This is my 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina and that fits in there with plenty of room to spare. So you simply get that elastic toggle, loop it around that little cinch here, and it's nice and secure. You might even be able to see the tape seams here. This is the laminated tape seams that really make the bag water resistant and watertight. Again, with Arc'teryx's bags, they're incredibly hydrophobic and water resistant, but they're not fully waterproof. So just keep that in mind. You can't submerge this into water and expect that water won't go in. But having said that, Arc'teryx makes some of the most hydrophobic and water resistant carry bags out there. Okay, so let's put this bag to the real test by doing the Rush Faster beer capacity test, seeing how many six pack tinnies of beer can fit inside this bag. There's one, two, three. Okay, it looks like I'll probably only be able to fit three there. I've got one here and then two this way. I don't think I can fit a fourth in there, so let's just try and zip that up. So in this 16 litre messenger bag, we're able to fit three six pack tinnies with a little bit of room to spare just up here. Not bad. Okay, so this is the Arc'teryx Grandville 16 litre Korea on the body. For your reference, I'm 5'10". But if you don't want to use the stabilization strap, you just want to carry it more casually, you can carry it crossbody or just over the shoulder.
Well, everyone, that is the Arcteryx Granville 16 liter courier bag. Much like everything else in the Granville line, it's sleek, minimal, super weatherproof, making it perfect for urban commuting. If you like this video, you found it helpful, and you're interested in getting this bag, there is an affiliate link in the description below, as well as a QR code on the screen right now for you to scan with your phone camera. Using either of those links really do help support the work of the channel at no extra cost to you. And if you'd like to support us further, you can hit the like button, hit the bell, let us know your thoughts about this bag in the comments below, and let us know what you'd like to see us cover next, if it's performance apparel, if it's desk setup gear, if it's other types of carry, let us know in the comments below. And as always, subscribe to see more carry gear walkthroughs if you haven't already, and also subscribe to see our Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter for news in the carry world, and also for an opportunity to win some carry gear every month. If you want to see more videos like this, or more videos from Arcteryx, then check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the Arcteryx Granville 16 liter courier bag. Take care and we'll see you next time.